Dual Review is brought to you by Nexus, digitalcomics.com. On today's Dual Review, it's the Mass Effect anime, Paragon Lost. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday the 31st of January. We are doing Mass Effect Paragon Lost. That's right. And if you've been watching this show every once in a while, you might know that I'm a huge fan of Mass Effect. I mean, we both like it, but I am a rabid fan. And so I was very happy, yes, foaming in the mouth. I was very happy to see this and uh, didn't really care what other people were saying about it. So I just bought it and watched it and um, I really liked it. I do. Um, but I know why other people might not. Now, Mass Effect is obviously a huge, you know, AAA franchise for games, and people love the games that play video games. Not everybody plays video games, but most everybody's heard of Mass Effect. Um, the problem with this anime is that for Mass Effect fans who love this world, you know, it's very, you know, Star Wars, Star Trek, I mean, everything is just it's like alien races, and you build your team members out of alien races mostly. I mean, there are a few humans, but mostly it's about the alien races, you know, and you get a lot of this lore and backstory and all this stuff. This does not focus on that. It focuses on Vega, James Vega, which is a lot of people's not favorite of the third of the third game. Yeah. Which I would agree with that thing. I just you know, it's kind of a big dumb jock, and I hated that he called me Lola because I was the girl, um, um, Shepherd. So I was like, "Fuck you, guy. I'm not going to take you out." But I missed it. I because uh, apparently you know he has some really funny stuff, especially if you take him out with like Liara and stuff like that. Um, and they didn't really fill in a lot of a backstory. When you meet him, he talks about this horrible thing that happened, and he had to make this choice. And you know, he he he, he idolizes Shepard, or at least you know, looks up to him as a as a hero. Her, possibly, if you meet. And and I think that's another thing about the Mass Effect um, ancillary works is they avoid Shepard at all costs. They'll, yeah, they'll reference cool. them, cool. but they they always they don't say it's a he or she. They don't say what they you know where they're at or. They're always dead, is what yeah. I should say. They're yeah, not they do, right around they the They do corner. a great job with that, and that's a lot of fun. It keeps right. it fun. Um, but anyway, so James Vega, you know, we, we know a little bit about his past, but we didn't really, you know, live it, obviously. And this helps you live it. So it really yes. does fill that in. So if you're a hardcore Mass Effect fan, it should appeal to you, even though it doesn't really center around all the different races. I mean, the you know, the Krogan definitely show up, um, but they look different a little bit, yeah. which does take some people out. But I thought they looked cool. I mean, it's a very anime thing to do to just make them a little bit different. Stylized. Uh, and then uh, there's an Asari who is... You know, very much like uh, Liara. In fact, she's a student of Liara because, you know, she's very similar in that she is an archaeologist and she's obsessed with, you know, Prothean technology and all yep. that stuff, which a lot of the Asari are, but still, it, it does feel kind of weird that I wish she wasn't such a almost carbon copy to me. I mean, maybe the, I'm sure there's some fans like, oh, no, she's way different. Um, but um, uh, James kind of has a thing for her, and this all kind of leads to stuff in the in the third game that you wouldn't have necessarily had weight behind. Right. So I really do enjoy that they flesh this out. It makes it feel like that lore was all there, and they just decided to put it in anime form. Uh, so it is definitely gonna be my part of you know like Mass Effect uh, nerd month when I when I finally get all three games on the PS3 and I buy all the comics which are coming. And, you know, all this stuff, and I just watch them all together, and my wife will hate me, and <laughs> but I will love it. Uh, anyway, so so I do think that it should appeal, but I understand why, you know, it is a lot about the races, so I can understand why some people think it might be boring. Um, I did hear that it was slow at the beginning. I don't agree with that. I think it's pretty well paced the whole yeah. way. Uh, and I do like some of the, the new guys. It does feel a little bit similar to, you know, Dead Space or some other property because there's not a lot of races. So, again, I, I can kind of understand it, but I really enjoyed it. Um, the people that have no experience with Mass Effect, I can see them not being huge into it because there's not a lot of explanation for a lot of the things going on. So, they, you know, they might be like, what's going on? Like, why is this important? You know, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I can see both sides. But if you're like me, and you have played Mass Effect, and you don't have to have it all aliens, you might really like this film. I, uh, how did you feel? I like the movie. I liked uh, it a lot. I don't think you liked it as much as me. I'm sensing that. Huh. Um, well, I definitely liked it. I, I did. There was some lip sync issues that I had, but that was only the beginning, and then it kind of went away. I, I, I don't know if I stopped paying attention to it or what, huh. but it totally worked for me um, afterwards. 
but as far as the story goes, I really dug the story. This was a really great story. The only thing that I wished is that the conclusion, the choice that Vega had to make, because you already know that he made a choice that was referenced in, in the third uh, game, uh, why he did it. Because he never specifically, he never specifically says why. Another character says, yeah. we, we gained this and this and this from your decision, and it was a great decision, way to go. But you never really understood why he specifically made the decision. I think you really do, though. But it, it, it is, yeah, it, it's, it's interesting. I mean, even though I saw it coming, it was shocking in yes. some ways. So I like that it, it doesn't pull those punches, and I like that it goes there. And I think it does do it in a responsible way. I would have loved a little bit more, but it does feel like it leads into that game or something. And yeah. I, I'd love to see more of these. Of course, you know, even though it doesn't have to be about the other alien races, I would love to see them. But as an anime, just kind of on its own, if you have any kind of understanding of the Mass Effect universe, I think it does add to it. But I think, I, I don't know, I, I guess I would say that I think it stands up on its own, whether you know it or not. But... But whether you, Obviously not everybody agrees, because it's not rated very well. Are you saying whether they know the franchise or not? Because there are some right. things like the use of the biotics, or, or the... What are they called? Psionics? No, biotics. Biotics, yeah. So when, when that one character uses the biotics, um, I don't think... I, they never really explained why he's able to do that. So if you don't know absolutely anything about the Mass yeah. Effect thing, that would be confusing. But Yeah, for sure. For but I mean, the collectors, players, the collectors and the Reapers, like there's only so much that you get from the anime yes. itself. But it still does a job of, oh, they're abducting people to, you know, use them in, in a puree, a human puree to do something. So that's yes. bad, you know. It does do enough to do that. So I think if you're a Mass Effect fan, you should get more out of it. Uh, as long as you, you know, it doesn't have to be about all the alien races because it, it's not. Right. Uh, I, I like the movie. I think it, I think it is a good standalone movie. Uh you know, you, you instantly there, there's a there's one character that you know, and then a whole bunch which you which you fall in love with, you know, or you you really yeah, like sympathize with. Too. Yeah, and, and Nikki, because my name's Nick. So seeing a character with glasses named Nikki, I was like, hey, that's me. Yay, I'm in the movie. Yeah. You know, but but yeah, you do really like the characters, and then you, you really feel, you know, you really kind of. Well, I don't want to give anything away. You so. do identify with, yes. with Vega, even though, yeah, I was guilty of that. And one of the guys, I just he wasn't interesting to me, so I never took him out. And uh, this makes me more interested in him. And I think, again, I think I suffered from the same thing. It's like, well, if I have, you know, uh, Liara and I have Tali Zora or I have, you know, the, the Geth Legion or I've got, you know, freaking all these other choices, why the heck would I take some boring looking dude, you know, on a thing? It's like, oh, he's got hair and a slight tattoo on his neck. Big deal. My neighbor has that. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a big deal. But I really didn't give it, a, you know, give him the credit of the chance that he should have had. Right. And, uh, I, you know, some people do like playing with the humans, you know, like Ashley and, and James. So a lot of people did have that experience. And they're saying how funny it was. And when I replay this, I'm going to take him out more. Because I think I only took him out, like, probably two or three times. I think I, think I did the same thing. And uh, just because he was just like, I, I don't He's... like that you called me Lola. <laughs> Fuck you, you know. And just left him behind. But, um, yeah, this is just one of those. It makes me understand why he's kind of like a little shepherd in a way you know right. what i mean like he had this a similar kind of choice it was smaller in scale but it was still pretty big um bigger than most people and uh just seeing the choice the hard choice that he had to make so so yeah i i sympathize with him a lot more there's you know a relationship between him and a little girl and and that's sweet and so yeah it's, i think it is a good story yes i think it's a good storytelling the voice acting is pretty good yes um it's it's um Freddie Prince Jr. that repraises his role as James Vega, and he does a great job. I've never really liked him, but his voice is great. He does a great job, and um, yeah, it's just a lot of it's it's uni uniquely human for Mass Effect as well. I think it feels that way. Hmm. I mean, you know, it's it's a human tale mostly. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Yeah, although I I always thought that kind of mostly the Mass Effect was about Shepard, and that made it human. But yeah, I guess I could see yeah, it's I mean, more yeah. human than I mean, it's human. about you know the first first human to be a specter and the first human on council and whatever but it's really about other worlds other races whatever and this is you know predominantly human colony you know that you're dealing with and you know the the enemies are aliens of course but yeah anyway all right guys um I, that's what i think about mass effect paragon lost I, yeah. you can find it fairly inexpensive i mean you know I, I, I say if you're interested, you should check it out. But it, it's hard for me to recommend because so many people don't like it. But I don't really understand why. I mean, I've offered my, you know, it's suggestion a, of why they don't like it. To but... me, it's easy. I recommended it. It totally works. Good. I'm glad you did. All right, guys. 
Uh, please follow us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and watch our great playlist. Uh, Game Lab has been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art prints, short stories, and more. See you later. Oh, damn. You thought you had that one. I did. It like, stuck, and then it kind of fell off. It actually hit the corner. I seize the opportunity. Next time, it's Superman 1 and 2. On today's dual review, it's Mass Effect the anime. Should I say Paragon Laws? Yes. On today's dual review, it's Mass Effect. Mass Effect. On today's dual review, it's Mass Effect Paragon Laws. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. That's a keeper. On today's dual review. I was exhaling too heavily. <laughs> On today's dual review. If you do that, you could like pass that or, you know, where you exhale and then you start talking. <sighs> you know. I'm not gonna try it. You can. You can do a pillow. One of, the, one of the things that we used to do for fun was we would... Choke each other so we passed out. No, we... We used to do that. Really? <laughs> yeah, like, just, you know, sleeper hold or just cut this enough so you just, like... Well, we did something similar. We would push... Which is we, probably pretty dangerous. We would have someone against the brick wall and then we would, like, push real hard against the chest so oh. they couldn't expand and then they would pass out. Yeah, that's kind of actually... That's more dangerous. Well, no, because one, you might die, but one, you're... One, one might collapse. So... Oh, well, we didn't push hard, we just idea. pushed it hard enough where it wouldn't oh, okay. you know. Like crack your sternum, like somebody doesn't know they have the brittle bone disease, you know, that would be horrible. That would be so awful. That would. Like, why is it squishy? Because I'm dying. You laughed at that. <laughs> I did. Dick. And that is, and that is the one for Paragon Lost? Yeah. It's the only anime there is. There's more than that. Fire and IG, no, there's not. There's not another Mass Effect anime? <laughs> I could've sworn. Well, you could've sworn wrong. There's, there's, um... What do you mean? We just reviewed... Space. Oh, no, that was that. Was that Dead Space? We didn't review any Mass Effect. Didn't we? The one, that, the one that's between one and two. That's comic. Well, yeah. <laughs> Can't tell the difference between anime and a comic. No, uh, cause... Didn't cause... you notice the pictures weren't moving? <laughs> No, There's uh, no sound. <laughs> you just think it was a silent anime? You're like... <laughs> was somebody else moving the comic so much that you thought it was an anime? <laughs> it might have been convulsing. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I've seen another Mass Effect um, movie. I swear I've seen it, I swear. I swear. No. I wish there was. God. I mean, maybe there will be, hopefully. Hey guys, welcome to January 31st. It is a Thursday and we are doing something called Mass Effect Paragon Lost. Yes. Again! <laughs> Do you want me to reset the thing? Again! No.